The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? What a dreadfully sorry sight. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Uh, what? Oh, go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a prince. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, sir, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Okay, so welcome to the first episode of my Fable 3 Lady playthrough. Lady Elise is most eager to Shut speak to you this morning but, and I mean, is waiting okay, for you in the I don't know what his name is. No doubt you will I wish to... I need to turn down this volume a little bit, too. He's a little too loud for me. Uh, we'll just do that. 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 Kingdom is... There we go. And we'll accept. And we'll escape. Oh, now he's not loud enough. Oops. Okay, we're going to get this right. The kingdom is doomed. Okay. The kingdom is doomed. Okay. Anyway, welcome to the <laughs> first episode here. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could do subtitles. I'm just trying to make this. Is there subtitles? I don't even know. The do kingdom that. is doomed. Lovely. There we go. We'll do one. 
just want to make sure I get everything right here. Subtitles. We like subtitles. There we go. If you would care to choose. There we go. All right. So let's pick a Lady suit Elise here. Lady is a delightful girl, but I don't I like believe your pajamas one. would. Be... It's kind of hard to give an introduction ah, when this guy won't shut sure up. <laughs> Just give me a second. Perhaps Once we you get um to make your way to her now. through all this fun introduction and I stuff. I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King oh Logan gosh. is rumored. Will do. Yep. Bye, Jasper. Got it. Okay, so maybe he'll shut up. Is he done? He's done. My okay. Prince. Don't. Yep. Got it. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the first episode of uh, this Fable 3 playthrough. Um, this has been one of my favorite games for a long time. I, oh my goodness. <laughs> Shut up, guards. Um, I could not figure out how to get it to work on Windows 10, and I tried different things for like the past few years, and I've finally been able to uh, get it to work. So here we are playing. I know this game's a little dated. I know it had a lot of mixed reviews. Uh, a lot of people... I've heard say Fable 2 was the best, or they, they just like the original Fable. Um, Fable 3 is my favorite of the Fable games. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, this is definitely, I love the story and the gameplay and everything on this. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I'll, I'll be doing commentary for this one, um, but just for the cutscenes and stuff, I'll remain silent. Uh, Greetings, sir. I like how I, I have this little gold Hello, trail to... Uh, lead me in the right direction here let's see good day, Hello. Good day to you where she how is how are you my prince i don't think there's a sprint button or if there is i don't know how to use it yet it's been oh. a long time since i played this game oh here she is oh brave knight have you come to protect me <laughs> you big softy you'd be rubbish in a fight wouldn't you? <laughs> Wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm, perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. Uh... Uh-oh. Um, I'm gonna kiss her. Hmm. Hmm. How's that? Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I suppose you'll do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince, will you take my hand and... Yes, I will. <laughs> okay. Good. Now let's go. Let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. Come on, girl. You're supposed to be on my head. All right. Ah, Dog I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. All is well, Prince. There's the chicken. I can't kick it. <laughs> That's the best part about this game. Well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it ends? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit your gossiping now. And straighten those clothes. Welcome, your majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. Alright, let's make a speech. Um, 
will be encouraging. You have all been through some difficult times. And the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of him, Walter. I love Sir Walter Beck. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do oh. next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there. The way they look up to a leader. Oh, I can lead the way. Okay, I'm like, I don't know how to walk here. My lord, a lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the prince here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. Are they hiding under those masks? I haven't found this example of this country. If anything happens to me, I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my good prince. Your support will make all the difference, I'm certain of it. That was a courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good progress these past few weeks. But today isn't... Oh. I keep hitting the thing before his dialogue right. ends. <clears throat> Ouch! Good hit. Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father. The great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero! <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me! What are you afraid of? Hit me! went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen, there's something... Walter, you have to come quickly, both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. I love how he has that flag in on on his belt there <clears throat> they're right inside the castle grounds i've never seen so many people out there balls i should have known this would happen i don't think they realize what your brother is capable of this isn't going to end well it's been a long time since logan listened to me but i should find him stay here there's still something we need to talk about we can't just stand here I have a horrible feeling about this. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. Quick, 
You can see them. Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> oh, man. Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his brother. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors? Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my brother and his friend to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Move! I'm going. <clears throat> Leave her alone. I'm all right, I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, brother. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spy. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me, then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wished to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers? Or this girl? The sentence will be death. What? No! This can't be! You are the prince. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. Oh man, this is a tough decision. Are you listening to me? I'm trying to think from like Pick a moral me. standpoint where what would be the best thing to die. do. Please. Uh, um. <laughs> this can't be happening. It can't be. <laughs> Still having trouble deciding? Let me help you. Oh gosh. I will give you until the count of five. Choose me. They didn't do anything. It should be me. This is difficult. Five. Four. Um. Three. Calm down, Kate. Two. It's gonna be okay. You'll see. One. You have oh. to choose me. Oh no, it me. didn't work. It's the only way. You know it is. Oh. It should be me. Don't do this. It should be me. The girl lives. Kill the rest now. Please. Move. No. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my brother to his chambers. Now. Man, yeah, it's savage. I thought about just not choosing anything and just letting that be on his hands. Which would probably have been the right thing to do. You mustn't blame yourself, sir. I don't think any of us. But I wanted to save the girl too. Had fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's son. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even pajamas. <laughs> Come on. I love the dialogue. We must in this. leave now. There's a I lot of have done something in good the humor room. in this game. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. What about Elise? We can't leave her here. Don't worry. 
She's safe. And she can take care of herself. There is something rather sinister about this garden at night. Where are we going? I, I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. Okay. The catacombs. It's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. If I understand correctly, Albion's last hero is the um, uh, supposed to be the hero from Fable 2. And then you're playing as his child in Fable 3, so Logan and the Prince are the his children. When your father died, I promised him I would bring you here one day. But I don't know. When I've never played enough. Fable 2. And strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero. But I'm hoping that it will have one soon. What do I do? Oh. There it is, the Guild Seal. This is your father's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them. Those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. Is something supposed to happen? This is cool to show. If you've never played this before, seen gameplay, this is Who are you? I am Teresa, like your progression the road. Of the spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends, Jasper, who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. All right. It's cool too because it shows like the outfit and everything and how you look and I think what you've done as well, player. <coughs> um, anyway, let's see what I get. I think I get a sword from this one or a spell. You can use either melee spells, yeah, or um, the guns. Will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in it's the mausoleum. It's all interchangeable, too. And the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead. And one day, perhaps the rest of Albion will do so, too. So, yeah, the magic, I think it's called, a, it's will, power, will, and um, so you can do... Well, do you... Oh, there we go. It bloody worked! It you bloody really worked. are a hero! I never doubted it for a second. Well, of course, neither did I. Still though, <laughs> it bloody worked. Yeah, I can shoot fireballs. That's Somewhat cool. Somewhat narrow, isn't it? 
dark, too. You never did oh. care for confined spaces, did you, supporter? I never did care for being poked in the eye or having my head chopped off. What of it? <laughs> oh, dear, I seem to have struck a nerve. How about if I strike a butler on the buns? So funny. I love the dialogue between those two. Ah, now this is more like it. Grand, spacious, a plentiful supply of oxygen. Just the way a castle's escape route should be. I hesitate to ask, but what is our plan? Other than leaving the castle far behind us, which I wholly approve of, obviously. It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? E even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight. But they need a leader. Someone to believe in. Albion needs nothing less than a revolution. There's definitely going to be more dialogue from me in the episodes to come. I just They're doing a whole lot of introduction that I don't want to talk over. So that's why I'm just remaining silent. Um, just so you guys don't miss anything story-wise. Because there's a lot kind of being covered here in the first part. And then once... Uh -oh. Well, young hero. This is your chance to show us what you've got. Get XP Excellent. for like everything you killed. Did kill, you see too. that, Jasper? Did you see it? Well, I know I am. Let's Come go. on. And I'm proud of you too, old friend. I've never seen a man cower with such <laughs> grace. It is merely a matter of hygiene. Bats are filthy creatures. <laughs> anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof of what you can do. You are the hero. Who can lead this land in a revolution? That's are just the beginning. You always gotta check. What is this? I had I had a gold key. To I'll have to uh, come back to it if I get a key. I'm trying to not miss anything because one thing about this game is there's like little secret treasures hidden all over the place, and I don't want to miss any of those. Um, before when I played the game, which I, I played through this game about five times on my own. Um, and I think I pretty much just rushed through it every More time. Bats. Get ready to cast some magic. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait till I unlock Use the gun. That's the best. Another impressive display, sir. To think, this morning my job consisted of laying out clothes for royalty. Now I'm a midnight snack for bats. <laughs> you get used to it. You might want to cover your noses from here on. It's the Bowerstone sewers. <sighs> Very well. Oh, you might want to sure. cover your eyes too, Jasper. More bats. Oh, more bats. I a few more bats. Certainly got the hang of that spell. Thanks. Shall we proceed? I wish there was a sprint button. I really don't think what there is. The more I'm I playing this, the more I'm thinking maybe somewhere beneath not. Bowerstone Industrial. Very likely. Not the safest place for us right back now. Here. But we should be able to find a way out of the city once we reach the surface. No. Your dog, there's treasure too that your dog can like spot and dig up for you. Also, around, I don't know if it's unlocked yet, but that's a pretty cool feature. Alright, what do we got here? I've only got about 20 more minutes to record, so I'm gonna try and. Not quite. What is that? I'm pretty sure it's a Cullis Gate. Sort hmm. of. Magical transportation system for heroes. I was under the impression the Cullis gates were all gone. Well, it looks like there's one left at least. Your father must have placed this one here in case he ever needed to use it. It's the same symbol that we saw by the tomb. 
you suppose it's activated in the same way? That'll do it. Goodbye. Oh, okay. I know this place. What is this place? You know, it must be. It is. It's your father's sanctuary. He used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dolt. The old king must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily, but they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination and you should be taken there, just like that. Kind of waiting for a good stopping point here. Um, getting pretty close to that time. Let's see. Here we go. It worked. Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. <laughs> yep, it may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control of these mountains and started really destroying its forests. I knew they'd have a hard time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod. But a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a prince. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less princely. We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where, Where can I find clothes? From? Oh, don't worry. Where did you come You'll find from? someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. This can't go on much all longer. All right, let's go get some clothes. Oh man, these people all want something. If I ever get hold of that Logan, I'll wring his neck. Please help us. So I need to get some uh, clues here, and then I think this is what I gotta buy. Hello. So good to have you here. Please look around. Look around. I don't have any food, but plenty of other things. Guess I'll just buy the whole suit. We might as well. Hello, sir. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Is, is, this, is this how you use the... Uh, I am speaking to you through the <laughs> guild seal. What an extraordinary device. It would seem that as long as you carry the seal, we can communicate freely. 
Not only that, but you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary. Might I suggest you do so now and try on your new outfit? Boom. Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through and I'll show you. Let's take a look here. I've taken the liberty <clears throat> of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, why don't you change into your new dweller outfit? Let me see. There you are. You look just like a dweller. Thing. I hope yeah, this new outfit is as comfortable too. as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. I always got that eyebrow raise. Uh, maybe I'll put it back on for now, why not? Let's see. There we go. I look like a pirate or something. Okay. Alright, I think a little bit more time I could feed some children or something and then... Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much Did about. You bring anything? Right, I'll go meet oh, Sabine. And this then we'll so call that an episode. Bad. And then, hopefully, in the next episode, I'll be able to be able to get a little bit more commentary from me. Just don't want you guys to miss anything, especially you know, just starting out. That's more like it. The scruffy look suits you. I I've bold. spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's well. I told you he'd you take some like convincing. Folk. Come on. Maybe you're more giving. Let's take a look. Ooh. Out of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A prince, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, prince. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> We don't take much stock in words around these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There's a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall, built by your own father. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Boulder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Come on, boy. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your father built the chamber under the Brightwall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. He'll know what it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. I think that's it then. Okay, we'll go ahead and end the episode now. Let me see. How do I save? Exit to Windows. Game setting, game management. Save room. Okay. It makes a nice change doing something useful. Um, how do I? I thought if I hit escape, it takes me to the sanctuary. There we this go. This chamber beneath Brightfall sounds intriguing. Uh, I'd heard rumors, of course, oh, I think I but none go other here. than heroes have lived. Game management. Live to speak of it. There we go. I'm gonna do a backup too. Maybe another one. Always got to be careful. <laughs> there we go. All right. Um, 
that's all saved then i will go ahead and exit the game thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this first episode of fable 3 uh, i do plan on playing through the whole game uh, i'm not sure how long that's going to take and this uh playthrough is not going to replace any of my other current playthroughs such as Kenshi and Star Wars The Old Republic. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more, uh, and I'd be more than happy to see your feedback in terms of questions, comments, suggestions, uh, any of that. So thank you all and I uh, hope you have a great holiday season and we'll see you next time.